Hello and welcome back. We are playing Crusader Kings 3. We are playing the Game of Thrones mod and we are playing as Stannis, Lord of Dragonstone, rightful Lord of the Stormlands. There could be no other Lord of the Stormlands. Hamas, Manus, Baratheon. Now, I know it says that, uh, you know, our is the Fury is our words of our house, but we have a little bit of secondary words just for Stannis the Manus himself, which is, of course, Mo Fingers, Mo Problems. We are continuing in off of last episode, Coming In Hot, where we righted some sort of, there was some sort of clerical error um, that our Lord Brother, who we love very much, but he doesn't seem to care much about us, which is uncomfortable, uh, but he seemed to have given Renly the Stormlands. And so we didn't bother our brother. We didn't tell our brother, hey, I think you made a mistake. Instead, we just took the storm back, Stormlands back ourselves. And so we will be continuing on. We did, of course, need to take an iron loan from the Iron Bank. And in order to not pay the iron price, uh, we are going to have to pay back that loan. So that's mainly what we're going to be focused on in this episode. But eventually, we're going to put in a pin in Lord Renly. I just have this feeling that he is going to perish at some point because... You know, we did take back the Stormlands in the Lord pa Paramount Sea, but I think Lord Renly, our brother, I think he has too many of something. Too many fingers. And by fingers, I mean Storm's End. And by Storm's End, I mean we're going to take it from him. So this is the plan for the episode. We're going to try and figure out a way to take Storm End. And we are going to pretend like we know how to play Crusader Kings, which is... Uh, very suspicious. Uh, this is not necessarily my best game, but we want to be able to revoke the title. Now, we can't do it because we have a truce, and we can't, uh, we need to have a valid reason, I suppose. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that he might have a secret of sorts that is a little bit awkward for him in a kingdom uh, that is perhaps a little bit less than progressive. And so we are going to find our spy master and we are going to find secrets in Storm's End. Now, of course, our Castillan is like our hand. In the Handis and the Manus, we are going to see if we can maybe find someone else who would make a better Castillan. Our Castellan. Where is our boy himself? Sir Lord Davos. Yeah, you're going to be the new guy. Swap. Let's go, baby. You are our new hand, Mr. No Fingers. No fingers, no problems. Beautiful. Alright, what are you gonna do here? I think Oversee Realm. Can we reassign his role? Oh, we can. Alright. He wants to serve us well. Obviously, serving House Baratheon. We will make a new house, House Manus, at some point. Uh, we can have him give learning, have him give martial, have him give stewardship. Uh, let's have him with this, help us with the stewardship, because we're not the best for that. And now we have a little bit of an event here. Mercy for the mercenaries. Well, we're probably not going to show any mercenaries because we are about Stannis, the Hamas, Baratheon. We could pay for his drinks and get lifestyle and mercenary higher cost. I don't even think you can hire mercenaries in this mod. So, ooh, the mercenaries are in now. Hot. Okay, well, that's good to know. That doesn't seem like a thing. Soldiers throw them out. The bustling blah blah blah. Tankard is knocked out of hand by a mercenary. Well, I don't think that's appropriate. And all hope of relaxation drains away. Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. Lyman's thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days. Well, that is... The Manus will handle this himself. Could he... There's no other option, is there? Now look at this stout beard and this chiseled jaw as he handles it himself. There we go. And of course, we do want to find ourselves some items. No, there's some secret here. We we know that we know that Lord Renly has a secret. We are very confident that he has a secret of sorts that is not uh, well we do not mind this sort of thing. Alright, we'll just gain some gold. We're gonna accept gifts. And we're getting some grandeur. Now our court is uh currently not uh not the most grand, but it's not how grand it is, it's the way you use it. We're not here for this, you know, fashionable lodging food business. We're here for the Stormlands and serving our brother, Lord King. He's also our player heir, which is a little interesting. 
Now, how long until we can, uh, until we can found a new house here? Okay. We get a new lifestyle perk. Well, we are invited to a ground tourney here at the Eerie. The list will probably tremble. We have better things to do. Well, we don't have better things to do yet, so the lists will tremble. But how do is it that we... Can't remember exactly how to form a new house. We probably aren't eligible yet, but we'll see. A hard rule? Hard truths, hard rules. We have to go for it. Stannis, the menace. And we are out of debt as well. For glory. Alright, we will continue on. Obviously, we're going to win this tournament with this chiseled jawline. In fact, we have a question for our opponents. We have a question. We have a question. A simple one that they must answer. What you know about green eggs and ham? Can they handle the ham? We will see. Mo fingers, mo problems. Let's get back into it. Nope, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he has a secret. <laughs> or they left that out of the mod. <laughs> We will watch every joust. We have to know what our enemies are capable of. Alright, let's take a look here. The excitement is palpable. You know, from an RP perspective, I don't think Stannis would place bets, but we're gonna do it just because... reasons. We're gonna bet on Jirion. We're gonna let this kind of continue on. It was a thrilling tilt and a ton of money. It'll be a little bit more palpable with a bet. On Lord Almond. Almost Elrond. You were so close. I will take the ring to Mordor. It was a thrilling tilt. Uh, we lost our money. Tragic. This is why you don't bet. The excitement is palpable. It would be more palpable with a coin or two. Lord Otho. Of the Darkwoods Mole. I also like seeing all these guys. Thrilling tilt. Lord Andros. Don't know who that is. And Lord Humphrey. Or Lord Humphrey, not Humphrey, but is he Lord Humphrey or is he Lord Humphrey? You know what I mean? Alright, we're going to place a bet too. I mean, uh, Andros is definitely the more fierce one, but we're going to vote on his humpage. It was a throwing tilt, damn. He just couldn't pull it through. Lord Stefan and Lord Giles. Uh, we're going to bet on Stefan. Stefan. It's brilliant tilt. Excitement, palpable, Gerald. Wow, these guys are both caked up as hell. What the hell? What do you got? Can we read? Lord Randall of the Westmarsh? Oh, is this Randall Tarly? Chivalry focus. I say I think this is Lord Tarly himself. We're gonna put a pin in him. He's worthy of a... Uh, we're gonna bet on him. Dude, I think we should be friends with him. This makes sense to me. Oh, we can't make friends because we're Stannis. That's right. Uh, I think we'll switch to swaying him instead. I don't know what we're doing right now. What are we doing now? Sway Wallace. Oh, sway our Septon. Yeah, we're going to sway Randall instead. Thrilling tilt. He wins the battle, too. It'll be more palpable. What happened to us? I thought we were competing in this thing. Obviously, they're just conceding, right? They're quaking before us. We inquired as to what they knew about green eggs and ham, and they told us nothing. Ah, here we are. We are fighting. Master Lionel. The excitement is palpable. It is palpable. It tastes... The air tastes of ham. We will bet on itself. Itself. Ourselves. Lord Paramount Stannis will win fall you fool my mount holds steady my aim true and i hammer my opponent with the tip of my lance e the crowd roars as i bathe in a torrent of exultation my opponent te teeters in the saddle swaying uh squeezing his mount for dear life squeezing more than the mount victory will be mine 
Oh, he manages to stay in? Well, victory will be mine. Fall, you fool. He's not yet fallen. Victory is mine, surely. It was a thrilling tilt. We have dishonored him and honored ourselves. We will receive the Lady Shira and accept her gift. And who is this? We will bet on Andros. Since Andros, actually we should have bet on the other guy because Andros defeated Lord Humphrey. We will bet on Otho, not Othello. So close, it could have been. My Shakespeare's not that great though, so. And of course we're betting on Lord Randall Tarly. We're not even gonna look at the other guy. Man, what a Chad. Absolute unit. I feel like these two would really get along. We should try and become... I don't know how to become friends with him without going Diplo, which would not be uh, on theme. Surely we bet on ourselves. Against this... Nothing burger. Is he a ham? He's not a ham. We're a ham. This isn't over. What? We could do it again. Hmm... Crushing air from our lungs. This doesn't... Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. We're gonna bet against Harmon, because uh, he just beat us. So we're gonna be bet on him. Oh, we lost again. We're still gonna just keep betting against him. Now, Andros uh, got the guy that we wanted to win. We'll receive him, I guess. I don't know why you would not receive someone. Maybe they can try and assassinate you. We will continue betting against Lord Andros. Alright. And we will try and... <laughs> we got all these notifications now. So we can hold court. We can request a loan. I don't think we want to request a loan. We can purchase... Let's put... We can pay homage. Yeah. Let's, let's pay homage to our dear king. This is the price of fealty. Dynasty ba Baratheon gets renowned, we gain prestige, and we pay him some money. That is our duty. For those of you who don't understand why we're a ham, I, I don't think I maybe didn't make it clear at the start. Lord Adrian becomes our best friend. This would actually be kind of useful. We would want Randall to become our best friend. We don't want to get drunkard. That is like the opposite of like a Stannis RP. So why don't we just do this? And I, I think maybe we need to clear up some confusion as to as to why we're the ham. You should kneel before your brother. He's the Lord's chosen. Yep. Born amid salt and smoke. Salt? Born amid salt smoke. and smoke. Is he a ham? That's twice I've warned you. Delicious. Listen. Now, we don't care what she has to say. You Skip ahead a little. Chamber until you... Your husband was a supporter of my claim. Lord Eddard's integrity cost him his head. Wait, what? And you sit beside... I think we're getting ahead of things. ...this pretender and chat... Right. We share a common enemy. The Iron Throne is mine. By right. Not sure what he's about here, but of course he means, you know, the Stormlands are in fact ours by right, which is why we took them... Again, our brother didn't know what he was doing when he gave it to our other brother. I'm, I'm sure it was just a clerical error. I'm positive. Ah, youthful vigor. Me and Randall. Excellent. We will just keep swaying him unless we have a reason not to. I'm pretty sure there's something to find here. Now, I mean, it wouldn't be completely off theme for us to murder him. I mean, we've already beat him in battle, but the problem is, I believe his heir is not us. It is, in fact, King Robert. So, Raymond is proposing alliance. I don't think so. He's a bold fool. Bold, to, bold and foolish to oppose, uh, to ask for that. Petition under right script. He wants money.
in Mondell. I don't think Mondell is one of our things, but Baratheon and Fel will get Renown. I don't think this is worth it. Surely you want to sponsor an Annex. Yeah, that's what I think. Surely you mean to sponsor an Annex. And we will also uh, look to increase our holdings now ourselves. Oh, we lost 400? Oh, whatever. That's fine. Let's see. Oh, she's a much better steward. You will replace a little meritocratic here. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Hill farms would be decent. Pastoral lands. Right, keep that up. What is this? He stumbles awkwardly. Well, we'll still take the money, I guess. So we could have a Godswood military camps. Fetch Lord Davos. There we go. I think we would restore order. That seems like the Stannis thing to do. Oh, I forgot I wanted to move up my... this... a bit. Maybe I should move it up quite a bit. There we go. Let me know if this... I don't know if the thing's in the right spot for all this. Court positions, faith religions... Can hold court. Why don't we take a look at our council and our court positions? Council's... Oh, this is not... <laughs> this is uh, our Lieges Council. Absolutely insane. Master of Ships, Lord Eddard. This is... He, by the way, got our job last episode. We are way more qualified. But, uh, okay. And here's ours, which is relatively good. You know? It's pretty solid. What is this? A secret has... Reach the light of day. My vassal, Lord Monfrand, had an extramarital fell with Onella. How could he defy? Well, so here's the thing. Nothing goes unpunished in our realm. We have a motto. I'm moving this down. I'm not sure where it's supposed to be. But we have a motto here. Do we not? We have one. Mo fingers... No problems. To the dungeons with you, my sir. Stefan, this was the Chad. Oh, this is the wrong Stefan. It's not the Stefan Chad who was winning that uh, tournament. Glad we just get a ton of free money from our peoples. All right, let's try and build something here in Dragonstone here was the plan try and make a little bit more money so pastoral lands will give us some levies and development growth at the high level clicking is hard let's try not to do too much of it i mean we could save up for a duchy building as well uh we could also go hill farms oh my god i can't click rip the dream which is gonna give Skirmisher toughness. I uh, could go hunting grounds. Currently, we do. We are kind of heavy into archers and pikes, I believe. Um, but this might be. We might want to go something like this. I generally like to go money oriented stuff, but that's not super on theme with. I feel like necessarily with Stannis. We already have a harbor, a small hill fort. Why don't we save up and upgrade this? That'll be nice. All is calm in this kingdom. One day our wife will be of age as well. Coming on up. So we can 
incognito. Tonight, I have stripped myself of every symbol signifying my ranked walk uh, anonymously amongst the... Sh but how could they not recognize us by the chiseled jaw? This is... This is a strangeness here. Lord, look at him. What a ham. Uh, it is quiet in the evening when the argument breaks out. Words reach me loud and clear. An infantryman is trying to convince his commander, my vassal lord Stefan, of the advantage of an alternative strategy. Stefan wants to hear none of it. As I approach, the infuriated man uh, raises his fist. So we can protect the soldier. Pretty sure the soldier is not supposed to raise any sort of hand against a guy. But, um... We could get fought seasoned warrior, and we could maybe get wounded. We could get innovative strategy for 15 years, sneak away and take credit for the soldier's idea. That's not what Stannis would do. Stannis would do the dread one. So Stefan, you're going to be an example. Keep trying to find secrets. <laughs> we need to find a reason to be able to take this away. The lists will tremble. We will win a tournament one day. Lord Renly is... What happened to Lord Renly? Renly got beat up. He is wounded. Maybe in a tournament? He's still betrothed, so he's not... Is he not of age yet? We will uh, avoid the distraction of other contests this time. We will focus on ourselves. Whoa. What is this? What is this? Factions? Our brother wants the Lord Paramountcy of the... But it's not yours. Not by right. Alright, so I think we gotta try and improve relations with some of these guys. <laughs> what do you know, Lord Stefan is mad at us? <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> After we made an example of him. We can cr challenge him crimes against fashion? Unreal. Let's try and sway this guy. And I think we are going to want to expand the military then. So let's take a look at... Can we see what this faction... Let's see what they got. So you are still, like, on mainly horses. You got uh, quite a few crossbowmen. That's not ideal. So... I think if we increase the size of a lot of this, they won't be able to declare on us anyways. Our excitement is palpable. Clearly everyone's excited to see the hand perform himself. Let's... Music suddenly got way loud, so we're gonna... Knock this down a pinch. I think it's gonna be really loud for you guys. Testing? Alright, cool. I think that, hopefully that's good. Let me know if the audio sucks. The ham speaks for himself. Wait, what? How is it that we are getting beaten? I mean, I know this number's bugged down and it should be higher, but surely, surely we cannot lose two jousts in a row. I sh seems unreasonable. Okay, so, hmm. We can accuse him of violating some tree law. Let's actually take a look at our decisions. I think we might want to... Hold a feast at some point. And try and make people like us again. The deserters... They're deserting, what should we do? Apprehend them, obviously. Come on. Well, the price for must be played for betrayal. After a short scuffle, they're apprehended. Every soldier present, both loyal and not, knows the punishment for this kind of betrayal can be harsh. The air is thick with anticipation, fear, and the smell of ham. 
my lord, Clayton meets my gaze. They are only children. We just want to go home. The price for betrayal must be paid. Execute them all. You will be scrubbing the latrines for months. Let me tell you a story about discipline and honor. And... I think we're going to execute them all. Wait, we are just? Our justness doesn't agree with this? Okay. In that case, we'll tell them about him and honor. Apparently, that was too much. Too harsh. Alright, we do get a lifestyle perk. And let's come in. And so we can go for cheaper mercenaries. But why don't we go a man's home? Because daddy's going to come home tonight. When this... Show Lord Stefan in. Is this the Chad Stefan? No, it's not. There's so many Stefans. What the hell? But this is... Uh, they're a little in discontent. We are trying to improve relations with some of them. Alright, we're going to switch to Disrupt Schemes. What else can we do? Hmm... Has our brother gotten fat yet? Not really. I mean, we could try and kill some of our powerful factions in here. We could petition the liege. I think we wanted to... Yeah, let's ransom them. I mean, we could take their fingers, but... Send your guests packing? No. We'll call a hunt. We'll lose 30 stress, and we get some opportunities to increase our prestige. And I think we might go... I mean, chivalric dominance makes sense. Let's go Enduring Hardships. <laughs> During our brother's rebellion, speaking of hardships, we held Storm's End for years or months, I can't remember. But in it, we ate the rats, we ate the dogs, and at the very end, we were rewarded Storm's End. Except for a minor clerical error where it was given to Renly instead. But we righted that clerical error without needing the assistance of our brother. Ramp uh, rampaging heart. Just as my lord, Lord Bayron, and I crest to hear, we'll hear it. The snap of twigs, the rustle of blah blah blah. A massive heart straining, heading straight for us. The path ends here. With me. We gain hunting trophy. Hell yeah, brother. I think that this might be better so you guys can see the... Our hunt ends, and we gain some prestige. Very prestigious. We can hold court, we can petition liege. I think we're going to take a look at our decisions again. We are trying to ready ourselves for this inevitable uh, descent. I mean, I guess we could try and improve relations with some of these guys. We could accuse them of violating some tree law. I mean, this guy is a disaster, right? And he's infirm. Lord Stefan. Attack him for his crimes against fashion. Hold a grand tourney. Seems a little bit not our style. Seems a little bit wasteful. I think we just, uh... The list shall tremble. We'll win this one at ground view. The other fierce two tourneys? These were mistakes. For glory. Let's go, baby. Look out below. My presence was requested to mediate a spat between Clayton and Elizabeth, except spelled funny, because thanks, J George R. R. Martin. My courtiers must be awful bored today. Blah, 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 blah. The seven who are protecting me, as always, as I'm seeding the alcove, are not affected by the disaster. Oh, not the seven. Okay. The closet door, blah, blah, blah. So we either save Clayton. Oh, wow. She, Elizabeth can just die. 
Or she can get drenched in extra mint. Hmm. Well, we are a person of, uh... Action. And I think we would rather save the knight. Oh, but she's huge. Just kidding. We are gonna protect her, and we are going to put a pin in her. And I'm not saying that we're going to make enormous hams with her, but I'm... <clears throat> we're gonna make some ham. We're not yet married. We're just betrothed. Alright, we are going to watch with a keen eye. We want to see if some other people... Wow, Lord John of Scarlet Keep. He's pretty big. We're going to uh, bet on Barim. It was a thrilling tilt. Let's see this. Lord Ronald was shown into my hall. McDonald. Thank you for seeing my, my liege. Blah, blah, blah. My land's pale in comparison to your mighty capital. Please share some. Well, we're not giving up our development. Not for a price. Griff's Roost will... Alas, some lands are more blessed than others. That's right. More palpable with a bet. We have Alexander, Penny Lover, versus Gladden of Grimstack. That's a lot of Gs. We're going to vote on the G thing here. Oh, terrible. And we have Eris of Grinsdale versus... Mathis, the Summer Breeze. Let's vote on the Summer Breeze. It's a thrilling tilt. Man, we're... We got Lord Lundum of Slain Town versus Lord Gillian of the Red Watch. I'm looking for... Where's Ned Stark? Oh, he doesn't fight in these. Who's this? Lord Jamie. Luckily, it's not Lannister. We're gonna better ourselves again. Follow you fool. Victory is mine. It was a thrilling tilt. Get tilted, my friend. We can vote on Ooh, this guy is Heraclean. Lord Rogar. And Master Joshua Downpool. I'm gonna vote on him. Making some money moves here. Who's this? Monf Monfried? I'm not familiar with this man, but let's vote on him anyways. And by vote, I mean put it blat. Stannis. Obviously, we're putting the money on Stannis. Master Stannis of Black Cherry. It's a thrilling tilt. Yeah, let's go Stannis of Black Cherry. We are Stannis of Manus. Alright, we're going to put money on Master Baron. Thrilling tilt. Obviously, we're putting the money on Stannis of Black Cherry. It's a thrill. What? How did Stannis lose? Terrible. Alright. We're gonna put the money on ourselves. Paramount Stannis. It's not ideal. What? No. Terrible. I can't believe we lost another one. Alright, we're just gonna put money on whoever. Actually, uh, they're both pretty good. Alright. I think we came out behind on that one. That's why you never gamble, kids. Alright. My dad actually wanted to teach me a lesson on why not to gamble one time. We were on a road trip. And, like, you put money in one of these machines, like, at the gas station... We would, of course, do a bold declaration. And uh, he put the money in the machine, and then uh, it was like a dollar, and he's like, look, we're just going to lose the money. And then he won 20 bucks, and it taught me a valuable lesson about gambling that day. If, he, if my dad really had a spine about it, what he would have done is he would have let the 20 ride, but instead he pocketed it. <laughs> a stuffed fox, obviously. Oh, bad impression. Whoops. But yeah, could you imagine just letting it ride and then it, like the 20 turns into like 400 and then letting it ride and then losing it all? That would have taught me a valuable lesson. All 
All right, so. I think we're just gonna up the size of this. No, of this, because we're gonna fight Renly, right? And we're just gonna up the size of that, which should actually make it a little bit in a better position. But we can also hire mercs if we have to. We're gonna try and arrange a network. We can get well-provisioned armies. Let's just skim some off the top. And then look to keep expanding our, our little... Yeah, let's expand this upgrade. Stefan. Uh, some lands are more valuable than others. Ah, Feast and Waycastle. Hopefully that's not an assassination attempt. I guess maybe we should have looked to see if he liked us. Ah. He's a little beat up. We'll say we love it. All these tournaments are beating everyone up. Our wife is almost of age here. One day, we'll be able to marry her. In the meantime, we have the giant. Ten thousand ships would give us a chance to learn. That seems like a status thing. Awkward. Yeah, you're telling me. Wait, did she get wounded off that? No, okay. I'm just seeing things. I was like, jeez. That would be extremely awkward. Now we can petition our liege. An extra hand has right hand. I can obviously handle everything as Lord Stannis. Let's see, what can we petition for? We could choose petition type. For council appointment or resettle subjects. Ah. Dear brother, will you, uh... Will you help us? We don't want to increase our taxes. Maybe I explained it poorly. Uh, we can get in a debate with Lord Tywin, which we, like, 100% lose here. <laughs> or we can uh, get into an intrigue challenge against Doran, which we 100% lose. But Mace. Mace might come around. Oh. Oh, okay. You know, this reminds me, of course, of our classic relationship with our brother. Oh, wait. Let's move this so you guys can see the, the pause thing. Never know where to put this. Classic CK problem. But but we showed this little clip last time, and this this really just captures our relationship with our brother. You know. See this is us rolling up. And we spot our brother, whom we love very much. And we smile. And we wave at him. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Horror and indignity abound tragic all right we get the point robert you like renly more we understand we don't yet but we'll, we'll get there the beloved of the brothers he's powerful now we can revoke his title we have a reason to But I'm pretty sure this auto pops this. Well, let's get ready for it. After taking the castle, I withdraw. We're going to put a pin in her. Oh, she's already got a pin in her. We already put a pin in her. Hopefully, we get some little hamlets. Court grandeur is decreased. What did we do to decrease our grandeur? <laughs> How did we sully the name of Baratheon? <laughs> Alright, so this faction is... Now it's back to being dangerous again. 
Well, we gotta make buddy buddy with Davos, right? Or we can get Levy reinforcement. Well, we're gonna need that reinforcement, right? Mm. We can unlock a new perk. Mercenary cost. Army maintenance is probably pretty good, right? Because we are kind of paying a lot on all this. We don't want to give this to Dragonstone. We just want our development, man. Not a huge fan of this event. Black Haven will grow, but no. Some hitlands are more blessed than others. We tell them to take a hike. We can hold court here. I mean, should we? Let's just... Hmm. We don't want to do this unless we, like, need it for a war. I think we're going to try and... See, if we try and seize him, he'll come up in arms against us. And this is quite a big military power. Why are you upset with us, Edric? Does he want a council position? Let's take a look at the council. Maybe we can give people position. Okay, Lord Edric wants a position. And what is he good at? He's kind of good at intrigue. Herbert, is he a... We're going to give this to Edric. Oh, this guy is powerful and wants... A... Okay, we're going to do this. Fire, sure. Are you a powerful counselor? You're not. We kind of care about that and we kind of care about this. So this guy's probably not powerful anymore. So let's assign him. And just try and deal with... Our Mansfield was powerful. Rip the dream. Oh, we don't want Renly to be... Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, we're gonna fire Renly. Obviously. I clicked without thinking. So maybe that cleans some of this up? I don't think it will. It's because Edric still wants a position, damn it. Well... We will not be threatened. We will not be threatened, Renly. Doesn't he know who we are? But we might be getting alone. But I believe we can call in Duran Duran. We could change Lord Davis' contract, but we want him to be caked up. We can, we can lawfully imprison her for what? Fornicator? Because she had sex with us and we know it? <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Let's raise our army. Perhaps we need to increase the size of this? Maybe not. I think we want some light horsemen too. Actually, I think we want storm knights. That sounds like what we want. Duran Duran joins the war. And we will try and uh, get these guys before they can all meet up. Because they're all split up right now. Will we knight this guy? Well, he looks pretty knightly. Sure. We knighted someone. 
All right. We'll let this guy get ahead. Oh, we gotta... How do we select just them? Not disband. Oh, we messed it up. Oh, we messed it up. Are we okay? We messed it up. Luckily, we're a Chad, but... Oh, we're not... Okay, we messed it up. Let's retreat. <laughs> Alright, we gotta slow down a little. CK combat is not my... I mean, Crusader King's combat is the one and only passion of the Lord Ham himself. And he is an excellent combatant that would never fail in combat ever against any opponent. Okay, we have another dangerous faction? Man, that's not ideal. They want a lower crown authority though. We can we can abide by that. But let's take a look. Do we maybe want mercenaries? I think we're going to have I think we wanna try and push towards Renly. So let's try and go here. We will, this is on the main road. So we will be able to keep these guys together without running a problem. So we'll just mix these guys. Why is this guy the commander? Come on. Oh, that's not good. We can't, we obviously can't get there in time, but that's uh, Duran Duran. Maybe we're supposed to let our troops recover. Because they're just going to come up here and clap us now. So we got to have a think and probably go for mercs, right? We can't afford any of this nonsense. Hmm. We needed to we needed to play the opening smart and stack wipe some of them. We needed to be better at this game, Jesus. All right. Well, let's have a think. Well, we don't have all armies raised, I guess. So let's raise all and see what gets raised here. Probably just like a nothing burger of a thing. Okay, we actually just need, we need to figure out the mercenaries here. So let's... Request a loan. From the Iron Bank. And hope that the loan gets here in time. Uh, where is the, do we have a mountain? We have the hills up here, let's... I think this hill's... We will defend, be able to defend. Move around. This is on a major road. So we'll just kind of try and avoid him until we can get that loan. Oh, this is a light little stack. Maybe we can snipe it? No, maybe we can get our asses killed when we're trying to snipe it. Yeah. We'll take the middle loan. And then we'll come in. And we will recruit some mercenaries. And I think we do want someone with spear, or we don't have light footmen, we don't have these types of guys, so this will maybe be a good balance to our stuff. And then there's Duran, Duran. 
Surely we can win here. He's got like 15k. And they're splitting. Let's go. Oh, why is this guy the leader? No. We want the Manus to be the leader, but it looks like we win this. Probably didn't need to recruit the mercenaries, to be honest. Just needed to wait for Duran Duran. Let's see, the Black War Banner. Burn it. We don't need that. We only need one War Banner. That guy gets wiped. We will chase down the whelp himself. We see you. You are not the manis that was promised. You are but a whelp. Oh my god. The co they move so fast in this mod. It's unreal. But there's the whelp. We have caught him. And, you know, we know a thing or two about Sieging Storm's End, but you know what? You know what Lord Lebrenly is learning about? What you know about green eggs and ham? He's learning about that. Food for thought. Alright. Yeah, they're getting wrecked now. Let's just dice up some of these guys. Where are you going? You're going nowhere. He's going fucking nowhere. Yeah, we knight everybody. We knight everyone. We take those. We're just clapping people. No sieges, only claps. We know that we can't... <laughs> we... <laughs> We resisted a siege in Storm's End for eternity, so somehow it just seems very unceremonious for us to, uh... Our knight, Prince Oberyn, was woo- What? No. Not the father... The Sand Snake. The father of our, uh... Who is our betrothed. Who is, by the way, almost, uh... Yeah, so they are wrecked fully. Let's take Storm's End here. This usurper. This siege is gonna go nowhere. <laughs> Donald gets out. I mean, we're kind of in the middle of something. How many members are there? I guess we have no choice. This will also limit some future stuff. Once We just need to get this war done, I think. And we, not being the absolute CK3 giga chad, like our man, you know, Stannis is the chad of the manis and the chiseled jaw, we'll just take the easy route, which is maybe not the best route, but, um... Hopefully it's not terrible. Uh, does this a Baratheon banner? Oh, but it does give Dread. We'll make a fine addition to our collection then. Unfortunately, we have two Baratheon banners and a non-Baratheon. Oh, we don't have more space for anything that's not Baratheon banner. That's unfortunate. Oh, wait, we do? Let's put this on. Obviously not as important as our Baratheon banners, but... Uh, call the banners okay why don't we try and siege down this guy then or something because we can't siege down storm's end or we can but it seems like it Oop. whoops and finally we get married can we invite him to our court that would be sweet so we are married to Sorella Sand. 
of course, <laughs> we are Penny Pincher. Also, we need to pay back the Iron Bank, so before we pay the iron price. And we will soon la la add to more than just dra having Dragonstone only, which will be nice, big nice. Let's take a look here, what we got. So this is coming on up. I guess we still got quite a while on it. We wiped out all the armies though. So maybe we can up the speed. My CK3 P brain is not. Uh, you know what? Some people gotta lose some fingers here. They can't all get away with it. Jonah? You're not. You have no title, but you. Fingers. Oh, we're just, though. Man, why isn't Stannis more brutal? Alright, we'll torture him another way. We'll accuse him of violating Sumptry Law. Ha! What a lark. <laughs> and we're widely known now. You know, there was... <laughs> we couldn't be widely known for, you know, the fact that we defended Storm's End. No, no, no. It was our critique of our prisoners garb that he no doubtably got from us that's what uh really sent us over the edge all right we're gonna just ransom some people then and try and pay back our debt and our wife is pregnant so that is nice is that lord ham no it's harlan Or Jamie, sure. We'll wait until they have more money. Oh, I guess we maybe shouldn't ransom prisoners. Because they will make it harder for us to... I want to assault the fort, but I don't want to lose a bunch of troops. But maybe it's cheaper to assault in the long run? I don't know. Okay, we got this. Enforce demands. We imprison Lord Renly. All right. So be it. We have a. We're gonna disband all. And we are going to. Why can't we revoke title? We need limited. Oh my God. Well. Who's the primary heir? Leona. We're gonna put you in the dungeon, my guy. All house members? No, they can't do that because that's our house. Oh my god. We just gotta make sure we don't ransom him and we have to wait till we can get limited crown authority. Which we can't pass for nine years? Jesus. We get Lord Stefan, you know. This is terrible. We could transfer some of his stuff to uh, uh, some of his vassals to us. Oh my god. The struggle continues. Needed to not give away the limited crown authority there. But we could val we could ransom a bunch of guys and pay off just have to be mindful not to accidentally ransom Runley. Almost want to give this guy a favor. But we'll accept. An unworthy challenge. At first I thought a simple footman was a fool for stepping onto the field. Although Demont seemed no 
threat at first, it quickly became clear that he would be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. Disarming him suddenly became a meaning of life and death. I tried not to show my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. We can have him join the court. I think we might just strike him down where he stands then. Goodbye, <laughs> sweet prince. We are here for the dread. The dreadus. The menace. The Stannis. The Hamas. Lord Stannis Baratheon. Of course. Unfortunately, we could not unseat our brother because uh, while we were fighting one rebellion thing, we decided to give away the crown authority that now makes it so we can't revoke titles for another nine years. So I don't think he's going to stick around in our prison for nine years. And so this just means more, more pain. We're going to decline because this guy's worth more than that. We're also going to repay the bank. Bravos. Some lands are more blessed than others. I'm sorry, my guy. Ransom Roy Lord Renly? No. You will rot. We have a no. We have a newborn son, Lord Finian. We have something else in mind. Something a bit more suitable. For the Manus's son. Son is much better. We don't yet have a anything else, but we have an heir. The heir is Sonus. Son of Stannis. The Manus of the Stormlands. And with that I think we're gonna conclude our episode here. We have uh Fought in a few tournaments, finally married our wife, who is uh, quite the wife. Maybe we should seduce her. And of course, we fought Lord Renly, who tried to raise up against us to retake the unrightful Stormlands from us. We clapped him down, we hammed him, we taught him a lesson about green eggs and ham. Now he's rotting in our prison, but unfortunately, his player heir is Leona Baratheon, our niece. Hmm. Maybe we can try and marry them to our son, Sonus Baratheon? We will see. Time will tell. We could also execute Renly at this point now, and try and seize land from her. We will see what we do. We are Justice, we are the Knight, we are Stannis, the Hamas. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Uh, also, if you f are feeling like a ham yourself, please inform us in the comments. We would love to hear how many people are feeling hammy, and have a good one.